Salwan, Salwan, Salwan. It's brother Ariya, H O R N Y N J. I praise your help by Shimon Shah. Shah. Double honors to the elders of H O R. Right? And, and big shout out to all the brothers and sisters that's out here doing the work of the Lord. To stay, to stay diligent, consistent. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. 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 Alright? So I'm bring out another quick lesson today. Um, it's about the famine that's coming and how the black and Latino and the Americans, they gotta hurry up, man, and come back to the word of the Most High before it's too late. Right? Because we got signs that's, that's showing all throughout in these last days. Um, like, you know, newspapers, man. You know, stuff that's going on right now. You got, uh, we're in New York and you got uh, Governor Cuomo, the damn devil, talking about you're going to have a second lockdown. You're going to force vaccine on people and everything that's going on. You know, like today, um, the school system got shut down. You know, so that's showing you what? That's showing that America is, is closing up shop. Right, Most High is closing this place up, man. Right, and you people, you 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 Black Latino named Americans, man, y'all y'all gotta come back before it's too late, man. Right, so I'm bringing out some quick scriptures, Amos chapter eight and verse eleven. Right, behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So the Most High is gonna send a famine into this land, right, which is Babylon or America. And that famine literally is speaking about food, physically, right? Food, water, and drinks, right? And it's also speaking about spiritually food, like the bread, spiritually, which is the word of the Most High, right? The water, which is the words of God. But if hearing the words of the Lord, right? Why? Because you know now that if you see the prophecies that's going on in the Bible, it's, it's being manifested on this earth. All the way from the book of Deuteronomy 28, the curses that happen to the black, Latino, and Americans get put on slave ships, right? See, even at a point where now you know who your enemy is, right? Which is Esau Edom, which is a so-called white man. You know all these heathen nations, right? They always try to oppress you. So you know, like, certain things about the Bible. You know all the prophecies is being manifested in these last days. And, and you black, Latinos, and American, man, that, that, that famine, <laughs> uh, let, me, let me show you, let me see. Right? So it says, But behold, behold, the days come, save the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread. Right? And let's find that right there. Let me get uh, Matthew chapter 4, and verse 4. All right? This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He said, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Right? He's saying, Literally, not shall, you shall not live by bread alone, food. But he's speaking about spiritually as well. Right? Because what? The words of the Most High is what? It's that bread. Right? And it shows through the Spirit that every word from Old Testament to Apocrypha to New Testament, that's what it means, every word of God. Right? So this ain't no, this ain't no damn, you picking one book, choosing and here and there, and then you close the book, John 316, open up on Galatians, and, and then that's it. No, you got to go precept upon precept. And I'll show you that right there. Uh, Isaiah chapter 28. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 10. For precept must be upon precept, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. See? So precept upon precept. I'm jumping from one book to another. Right? And it shows you as well. Because that bread is very important. Which is not physically, but spiritual bread. Right? Every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Right? So now, if you go back to Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11. Right? I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, right? And then you go back to what? You go to John. Let's see, John chapter 6. And let me see. There you go. John chapter 6 and verse 50. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die, right? I am the living bread which came down from heaven. This is Jehovah Shai speaking. Which means what? He's that word. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. That bread that he's speaking about is the words of the Most High God. Right? And to prove that, we're going to show you how Shai is the word of the Lord. So let me get Revelations chapter 19 and verse, let's see, verse 13. All right? Matter of fact, yeah, Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So Yahweh Shai, or what we're only called Jesus Christ, is the Word of the Most High. 
right? And he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God, right? So if you go back to John, chapter 6, in verse 50, you see, I am the living, this is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that I may man, a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. So Yahweh Shah is that bread, which speaking about the words of the Most High. So now, if you go back to Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11, Right? It said, Man shall not live by bread alone. Uh, behold, the days come, save the Lord God, that I will send a famine. That famine. <laughs> you know, that's speaking about the words of the Lord, man. Right? You black Latinos, name American, y'all gotta hurry up and come back to the Most High. It's an emergency. Right? Because the Most High is about to shut that door like he did during the times of Noah. Right? Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. Right? And what is the water? The living water is speaking about Yahweh which is what? Speaking about the words of the Most High. Again. How are we going to prove that? We'll go back to John. Same thing again. All right? Let me see. What is it at? Let me see. John chapter 4. Here we go. John chapter 4, verse 13. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. That's speaking about literal water. Right, because you always get, you always drink water, you always get thirsty. You gotta get some more water, right? But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Which is speaking about what? The words of the Most High, right? Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God, right? That's bad. That continues with what? That breath of life. It all ties in together, right? And now, for example, right? Let's see, it's chapter 8 and verse 11 again. <laughs> Nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Right? So it's not, so, it's not talking about food and drinks. It's talking about the words of the Most High. And our people's going to be suffering because guess what? All right? Let me get Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 21. No, 23. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 30, 23. Right? It says, their destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Right? Speaking about Israel. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall he seek a vision of the prophet, but the Lord shall perish from the priests and the council from the agents. It's speaking about the black and Latino and the Americans. They're going to seek the truth of the Most High, the words of the Lord. Right? But the Most High is going to shut that up. That means what? He's going to take away the word. Like what's happening... Um, Last Wednesday it happened on YouTube. It was a one hour blackout worldwide, right? That's the Lord doing what? He's showing Israel, y'all got one last chance. Y'all got to hurry up, right? Before it's too late. For example, let's see. Let's see, uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. This is Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Yeah, Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. We'll go to verse 20, right? Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Right? Wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Most High. And that wisdom is speaking about who? It's speaking about the prophets of the Most High. That's out there teaching the Hawaii Zimbabwe. Like it says in Luke 14 and 23. Right? Out in the streets. Because the Lord told us to go out into the streets. Not to stay home, but to go out into the streets. And what? And be a sign for Israel to tell them to come in. To bid them back to the marriage. Right? She cried for the chief place of concourse. So you're supposed to be out there teaching out in the corners, out in the streets, man. Cold, sleek, or snow. Right? Hot, whatever weather, man, like it says in 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Right? Preach the word in season and out of season. Right? Like yesterday, man, it was brick as hell, but we out there doing the work of the Lord. All praises, right? In the city, she uttered for voice, her word saying, How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorn is the light and their scorn and fools hate knowledge. That's speaking about our people that hate knowledge of the Most High. Right? But they love the knowledge of this world and that's foolishness in the eyes of God. Now, check this. Verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. It's speaking about Israel. The Most High called upon you by what? By bringing the prophets of the Lord to come out there to reach you, to try to teach you the words of the Most High, so you can get the spiritual food before it's too late. For they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. Right? Our people don't fear the Most High, man, but they fear the enemy, the so-called white man. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. You see that? Our people despise the reproof of the Lord. Right? They don't want to be taught. And speaking of knowledge, let's go to that. 
Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Let's quote this whole line. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. See that? Our people reject the knowledge of the Most High. See? And the Lord said what? He said, you want to forget my knowledge? You don't want to seek after the Lord's knowledge? Most High is going to forget your people, man. You're going to forget your family. All right? And let's go to Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7. This is Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's like the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. See that? All people despise the wisdom of the Lord. But they love the wisdom of his word. Look how funny that is. Right? They despise instruction. Right? And knowledge of the most high is what our people are supposed to be um, trying to get right now. Trying to store up on that spiritual word, man. That spiritual food. Right? There's going to be some people trying to stack up on food and here and there and all that. But first get the words of the most high first, man. That's very important, man. Right? So we out here to tell our people, you got you to gotta come back before it's too late. For the most high close that spiritual and physical door right in front of your face like he did with the ten virgins the parable of the ten virgins right you have five that that had that oil that wine which is the word and five that didn't right and you don't want to be one of those people right so let's go with uh let me see fools despise knowledge let me show you this one um let's see for knowledge yeah first corinthians let me see. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 3 and 19. There you go. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. See? The wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of the most high. Right? Talking about sports, uh, music, right? Adultery, all these hip-hop shows and all this stuff that's going on. Right? All these folly that's going on. is wisdom that's foolishness in the eyes of the Lord, man. Because what? The words of the Most High is going to endure. The words of the Most High is what you need to be protected. Right? Because when that family comes, man, if you ain't got the knowledge of the Lord, man, you finished, man. Right? And we speaking to you, Black, Latino, the American. Right? You finish. The people that already know the truth, that's in Israel, that know they're Israelites, you know, just keep holding on to the truth. Just keep enduring. Right? Let's keep pushing, keep building. But you Black, Latinos, the American, Most High willing, this video is able to edify y'all, man. Y'all got to come back to the Most High, man. Right? Because look, let me see. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. See? The law said get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Right? Once you get that wisdom, which is the knowledge of the Most High, then you'll start to get understanding. The Lord will start to help you. He'll start to deal with you more and more. Right? But our people don't want to listen. So now, let's go back. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come and say to the Lord that I will send a famine on land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord God, of the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and they shall not find it. So our people are going to be searching for the words of the Most High. They're going to be looking for the prophets out there in the streets, man. But the Lord said what? Hey, man, I ain't dealing with you no more. That's what the Lord is going to say, right? And that's what's crazy because you got to come back before the Most High shut that door, man, right? Let's see, Romans chapter, Romans chapter 10, verse 21, all right? But Israel saith, he saith all day long, I have stretched forth my hands to disobeying and gainsaying people. They don't want to listen, all right? Hold on. So the Lord said what? But Romans chapter 10, verse 21, but to Israel he saith all day long have I been stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Right? So our people don't want to seek after the Lord and the Most High stretch forth his hand by bringing out the men of the Lord to come out there and try to reach you and teach you the words of the Lord. But our people don't want to listen. So now when that famine comes and hits you like a damn Mack truck, right? Now you're going to be now you're going to be asking for the Most High, asking for the words, asking for the men out there y'all been scoffing at, right? Making fun of teasing, right? Thinking that we a bunch of Power Rangers and clowns or Mortal Kombat characters, right? But now you're going to see the Most High salvation for the men of the Lord and the, and the sisters of Israel, right? That's when you're going to be like, oh, man, we jacked up. We messed up. But it's going to be too late. So let me get a quick one. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 4. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel. Speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech or of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Right? Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. 
Surely had I sent thee unto thee, they would have hearkened unto thee. So the most I say, if he would have sent us to the heathens, the heathens would have been lining up listening, man, taking notes, keeping the commandments and everything. Right? But the most high sent us to who? His people, the chosen people of Israel. And they don't want to listen, they want to be rebellious. So the most high said, if you would have sent us to the heathens, they would have been lining up, man. But you, you, you black Latinos in the American, y'all don't want to listen. Well, y'all are the chosen people. Like I said, Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox know of his owner and the ass is master crib, but Israel doth not know. They don't even consider that they are the chosen people of the Lord. Right? Verse 7. But the house of Israel. Yeah, it said the house of Israel were not arcing for all of the house of Israel impudent and hard-headed. Right? So our people stiff-necked and hard-headed. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Right? So our people don't want to listen. So verse 11. And go and get them to of the captivity unto the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them. Let's say, Lord God, whether they hear, whether they forbear. So the Lord said, whether you're going to hear this word or not, if you're going to take, or take heed or not. Right? The Most High is going to do what? He's going to reprove our people. Verse 26. This is the scary part. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. And thou shalt be dumb. And shall not be to them a reprover. For they are rebellious house. So the Lord says what? He's going to shut the mouths of the prophets. That means what? We're not going to be out there in them streets too long. Right? We're going to be, at, we're going to be in our uh, safe places. Wherever the Most High put us in the spirit. Right? All you people that's going to be out there looking for us at different street corners. Teaching spots, ain't y'all gonna see us no more? All y'all gonna be seeing is military forces, polices, uh, soldiers, right? And if they catch you out there, they might light you up or put a vaccine on your body, right? But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth. And I shall say unto them, Thus saith the Lord: He that heareth, let him hear; and he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. Our people is rebellious, like it says Isaiah chapter thirty. They want to hear smooth words, smooth things, right? But they don't want to hear the truth of the Most High. Like said, Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I your end because I tell you the truth? All right? So our people don't want to listen. So now look. What's I going to jack you up? All right? They got what? They got daily news right here. If you look at the daily news, very spiritual. Look, November 10th, it says one last chance. All right? November 14th, it says heading back to hell. November 13th, conductor of death. Right, the edge is near November 16. Right, these are spiritual headlines disorder in the court, waste of his second shot, end of the line, and then the one today, too cruel. Right, too cruel today. Furious parents rip blast after schools closed down, closed doors again. No telling when they will reopen. So, what's going on? Everything is being shut down in America. Most high is giving you headlines through the newspapers that it's time for y'all to repent and come back to the law before it's too late. Right? Seek the word and he shall before it be found, man. Right? Seek the Lord and he shall be found. Like Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And how you seek the most high is through the prophets. As out here teach you in the highways and byways. Because guess what? These prophets have been here since the beginning. Right? Like Luke chapter 1 and verse 60. Let me see. Luke chapter 1 verse 70 As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets Which have been since the world began See Through the words of the Most High The prophets have been here since the beginning Like it says Jeremiah chapter 28 All right, Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 It says The prophets that have been before me Before the of old prophesied both against many countries And against great kingdoms of war And of even of pessimists Like we're doing today Prophesying against the downfall of our enemy And trying to prophesy for Israel To wake their behind up Like it says Ezekiel chapter 37 the valley of dry bones right Ezekiel was like hey man shall these bones live right and they coming back but only one third of Israel is going to come back in the spirit two thirds going to have to die in nuclear missile right so let the Lord said what seek him when he may be found right let's see there's another one yeah there you go go to second address <laughs> See, second Andrew chapter 9 and verse 9. They shall then shall they be in pitiful case which not have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right? That's speaking about our people that went despise the word of the Lord of the world of the Most High. They're gonna be in a pitiful case and they're gonna be jacked up. Alright? Because you got Cuomo talking about putting a vaccine on you black Latinos named American, 
and he and his wicked mind, he thinking that he's trying to save you. Right? But he's also trying to destroy you and oppress you. For such as in their life have received benefits, have not known me. Right? Y'all following the ways of America in this system, not knowing that the most high is gonna light this place up. Yeah, yeah, and y'all gonna be celebrating Christmas too. Right? Yeah, y'all thought Christmas lights was bright. You wait till the most high bring the nuclear missiles. You're gonna see some real fireworks. Right? For as in their life they have received benefits, have not known me. They don't know the most high. Right? Our people want a lot to talk about you know God. I know the most high, the most high is in my heart. But first John chapter two and three says if you if you don't know the most high, if you ain't keeping his laws, man, the light ain't in you. Right? If you speaking of the words of God, you gotta speak through his word, not through your opinion. Right? Like it says in Isaiah 1 8 and 20. For they that have loved my law while they had yet liberty. What is that liberty? That grace period that we're in right now. As yet of repentance was open unto them. That's speaking unto you, black Latinos, the American. Most high got repentance for y'all, waiting. By y'all repenting. But it's gonna be too late because they're shutting down America, they're shutting down New York. They're gonna put the damn vaccine, and yeah, yeah, and they got y'all all trapped up and set up because guess what? Black Friday is next week. Thanksgiving is happening next week. So now, y'all gonna be buying all this stuff in the stores, having a damn good time, going home, staying home, watching Netflix, playing your PS5, playing your Xbox, playing all these video games, watching movies, distractions, while the white man is out there with military soldiers about to put vaccine on every single one of you black Latinos in America. Out there buying up guns and ammo and everything. Why? To, to light y'all up like a Christmas tree. All right? That's why the Most High said, y'all gotta repent before it's too late. But they despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So a lot of people's gonna have to die in America because they don't wanna listen. And that's sad to say, but it's like a mercy killing. All right? So you gotta return back to the law before it's too late, man. All right? See, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security shall thou be destroyed and perish in the day of thy vengeance. So don't waste your time, man. Don't take time in the here and there. All right? Come back to this word, man. You know? Start with the milk. Don't try to rush yourself. Come back into this word. You know, little by little. You know, through the Spirit of the Lord. Psalms 119 and 60. I may haste and delay not to keep thy commandments. Right, so you gotta rush, man, back into this truth. Right, and the reason why I say back into the truth because our people had it before, but in this time period they want to reject it. Right, the Lord ain't gonna save all Israel; He's gonna save something. Right, so let me see. Um, let me get another one. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 Jeremiah 3 15 I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed thee, feed you with knowledge and understanding so the men of the Lord that you see out there teaching the words of God those are the ones that the Most High chose to teach the nation of Israel right? and to prove that Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20 and though the Lord give you bread of adversity and water of affliction like that famine yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers Right? So whether you like it or not, the most high raise up men of the Lord to come out there and teach y'all. From all different walks of life. Right? And it's all a spiritual thing. And thy ears shall hear the word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So I'm saying that to say what? We turn back to the most high. Right? This right here. New York will lead to way Cuomo vows to mobilize army to vaccinate all New Yorkers fairly. So what does that mean? This devil's going to do what? He's going to make sure everybody get vaccinated. Everyone's going to get vaccinated. You ain't going to run from this unless you're protected by the Lord. All right? And ain't nothing new under the sun because they've been doing this since the beginning. All right? Let me see. There you go. First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse... 52 Then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law and so they committed evils in the land and drove the Israelites into secret places even wheresoever they could flee for succor right now verse 55 and burnt incense at the doors of their houses and in the streets verse 56 and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law which they found they burnt them with fire what is that speaking about they're going to be taking the Bibles and they're going to be burning them now so what does that mean 
That means all the knowledge that you got so far, that's you gonna have to deal with that. Whatever you knowledge you stored up, whatever studying you was doing, you ain't gonna have the Bible there no more. You ain't gonna have the phone there no more to look up stuff, look up videos. You ain't gonna have none of that no more. They're gonna burn the Bible like they try to do in California, in the most high jacked of California. But this time the Lord is gonna allow it because guess what? It's like a test. You study first, right? And then when that test come, the teacher tell you, hey, sit, sit in the corner right there. Take your book bags, your books and everything, push them to the side. Everybody spread out, nobody cheating. That's how the most high gonna do us, right? So like the scripture says, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, right? So you, ain't, you can't escape out of this, man. This is what, Jacob's trouble, like it says, Jeremiah chapter 30 and seven, right? So Isaiah chapter 30, verse six, it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the key thing is to fear the Most High, and the Most High will start to give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and start to protect you, like it says in Psalms 34 and 7, in Psalms 91 and verse 10, right? Well, people don't want to listen, so now the Most High going to jack them up, right? So, let's see. I think, yeah, let me show you this one now. might even said it that's in the movie the book of eli he said all we need is what is that book he said that book is a weapon the bible is a weapon it's used to what cut the spirit of the heathens and the wickedness that's going on in america and also used for you black and hispanic state american to protect yourself the bible is a weapon that the most high have given you spiritually a spiritual sword right so now you want to go into battle without a weapon you're naked Right? Like it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, put on the whole armor of God. Right? And you put on that armor for what? The, against the wiles of the devil, because the Bible's going to protect you. Like it said, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Right? It says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, person, even to the dividing the sun of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is the sign of thoughts and of the intent of the heart. So it's a weapon. But the enemy have taken your book, which is the weapon, and used it against you. Right? Making wicked laws, talking about they're gonna try to put vaccines on you, black Latinos and American. Daniel chapter eight, verse twenty-five. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hands. His policy, his laws, right, to prosper in his hands. He shall magnify himself in his heart, like Cuomo does right now. Talking about what we ain't. God didn't stop the the COVID, the COVID nineteen, the coronavirus. We did it. That's what Cuomo said. So that's the proudest so-called white man, right? Like it says it over diet and by peace. Right? He's saying what? He said, I'm going to help you. We're going to protect you, black, Latino, and Americans. We're going to save you from the COVID. We're going to bring you out a vaccine. You're going to be healthy again. You're going to be safe again. But through his peace, through his wicked words, he shall destroy many like he did with the Native Americans and the Seminole Indians. That's why they're walking around in America. He shall also stand up against the Prince of Princes, which is Yahweh Shah, but he shall be broken without a hand. But the Most High is going to do what? He's going to destroy his wicked mind and his agenda. Right? But he's going to allow that to happen for you wicked black and Latino and Americans. That's not keeping his laws. Because y'all ain't going to be protected through the most high. Right? So that COVID is coming. And guess what? Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 20. Come my people enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. If the nation may be passed. It's like it, Right? So Isaiah chapter 26 verse 20. Come my people enter thou into thy chambers. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the Indian nation be pat, overpassed. This is speaking about Israel that the Most High is going to protect, right? That chamber could speak about the chariots. It could speak about come back into the words of the Lord and speak about stay in your house, in a safe house, all through the Spirit. Because what? The Indian nation that's coming is going to be that death and destruction. Like it says in Matthew chapter 7, right? That death and destruction is coming to America, man. And it's being pointed at you, black Latinos, and the American. Because guess what? 
Judgment starts at the house of God, like it says in 1 Peter 4 and 17. Right? So the Lord said, hide in thy little chamber for a little moment. Right? And guess what? A lot of our people are going to have to die. Right? For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, for their sins. And that's very important because guess what? Who sinned against the Most High? You black Latinos named American by breaking the laws of the, of the Most High. Y'all made a covenant with the Lord and y'all want to go back on it. Y'all want to break it. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Right? Who's that slain? That slain is the children of Israel. Right? And speaking of, speaking of, uh, let me see. Dick is in Isaiah. Yeah, there you go. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and the falsehood have we hid ourselves. Our people made a covenant with death. You see that? Instead of keeping that covenant that they have with the Most High since the beginning. Through the line of what? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? So now our people is jacked up now. Being tossed to and fro, right? Not being stable because guess what? They want to believe the lies of, the, of America and their oppressors, right? And they don't want to seek the most high words when the most high is the one that gave you every damn thing, man. Right? And that's a big problem because look, I'm going to prove that. Let me get Exodus chapter 19. <laughs> there you go. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, see, we had a covenant with the Most High, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. All the earth is the Lord. He made a covenant with the nation of Israel. You shall be a holy unto me, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. And these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Right? Unto only the children of Israel. Right? Now, look what it says. And Moses came and called for the elders. Let me holler. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. Right. And all the people answered together. All Israel, their forefathers all throughout the damn entire nation, man. Agreed, answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses returned unto the words of the people unto the Lord. So our people, the nation of Israel, agreed and made a covenant with the Most High God. Like our people being on um, uh, uh, Mount Sinai, right? With Moses and the Most High, that was technically a marriage. That was a marriage ceremony, right? So now we married unto the Most High. But our people don't want to come back to the words of the Lord. They don't want to come back into that agreement, that pact. That marriage of the most high. And you see, <laughs> our people is going to be jacked up. So now it's time for us to return back to the law before it's too late. Seek ye the law while he may be found, man. All right? And, 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 and look, the, the Edomite said what? He said that Bible can, can, can make you control people, man. You can control police, people, and towns, man. Everything. Why? Because that word is power. All right? It said in Jeremiah chapter 1. In verse 10. So, Lucky, I was going to make this video like at least 15 or 20 minutes, but you know, most high will. We just let the spirit go through. Um, Jeremiah 1 and 10. See, I have this day set over thee. So, Lucky, Jeremiah 1 and verse 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So, the Lord put his words in Jeremiah's mouth, like I said, Jeremiah 1 and 5. For I formed thee, I knew thee in the belly, right? Came us out the womb, I sanctified thee, and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Verse 10, see, I have this set this day over the nations, so a prophet is over a nation. Why? Because they are, the, they are the servants of the Most High. The Most High created the whole earth, galaxies, planets, and everything. The prophets are over the nation because they work for the Most High. And over the kingdoms, they over kingdoms too. To root out and to build, to pull down, and to destroy, and to throw down, and to build, and to plant. So that is the power of a prophet of the Lord. You black Latinos named American. If y'all come back to this word, the Most High become priests again and kings again, doing his work, the Most High give you power to root out kingdoms, man. What do you think Moses was doing when he sent the 10 plagues? It was to root out Pharaoh and Egypt. Right? Saying, let my people go. 
to pull down. He rooted out and pulled it down and destroyed it with the ten plagues and threw it down with the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And to build, what did he build? He helped build what? Jerusalem. By bringing Israel back to the promised land, even though he couldn't go in. And to plant. To plant what? The children of Israel, man. Right? So we got to be planted. That means also what? You got to be in this truth. You got to be girded in this truth. Right? You got to be rooted in this truth. You can't be tossed to and fro. But for you black, Latinos, Native American, y'all got to come back before it's too late. When that famine hits, man, you a lot of people, man, a lot of people's going to have regrets, man. They're going to wish that they, they, they adhere to the word, man. They're going to wish that they followed the words of the Most High, man. Like I said, James chapter 1. Let's get there. Let's see. All right. It's the book of James chapter 1 and verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. The Lord said be a hearer of the word and a doer. Right? You got to keep the words of the most high. You got you to gotta do what? Actions. Like love is what? An action word. Our people say they love God, but it's an action word. Right? So the Lord said be a hearer of the word and a doer. James chapter 2 verse 26 For as the body without the spirit is dead So faith without works is dead also So when our people say they got faith They believe in God and, and they love God God is in their heart man That's that's all folly man Right? That's all folly Because look man 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3 And hereby we do know that we know him the most high And we keep his commandments This is how you know the Lord If you keep God's commandments Then the most high says you know him and he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Right? You see that? So, let's see. First John chapter 5, and verse 3. For whatsoever, this, for this the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You see? First John chapter 5, verse 3. Right? You see, you love God. Let's see what God says. For this the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You see? So, that's how you love the Most High. It's an action word. So, you have to return back to the Most High before it's too late. Because judgment is coming to America and the Most High is going to wipe this place out. So that famine is coming. Right? Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake us, nor prevent us. Right? Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. Behold the eyes of the Lord God upon a sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. See, so at the end of the day, all praise your Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, you black, Latinos, and American. That famine is coming, man. Death is coming. The vaccine is coming. Right? Cuomo, the damn devil is coming. Joe Biden is coming. Everybody's coming at Israel, man. So it's time for y'all to repent and come back to the Most High before it's too late. Like it says in the newspaper, November 18, end of the line. November 16, the edge is near. November 14, heading back to hell. See? So these, these newspapers are headlines. It's spiritual. Right? So with that, O praise your Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, brother, Yahweh, Spirit of the Lord. Come back again, Most High will with another lesson. Come, Yahshua.